It's almost 2024 and I'm actually going to locals bringing a deck that released in 2021. This deck is almost three years old and we're going to see how well we can do with it at today's locals. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because I'm actually at my locals untouchables over there wherever it is over there you guys can see it and we're playing sword soul at today's locals. I was honestly building the deck for the channel and I thought you know this would be a really fun deck to bring back because I just haven't played it in so long. I also haven't been to locals in so long haven't had the chance with all the videos and all the stuff going on but i'm finally back at locals and we get to play sword soul i don't know how well i'm going to do with it today but i feel like the build that i put together is really powerful in the new year when the ban list has upstart back at three you guys might have seen my post ban list updated list that list i think is really powerful right now though we're playing pre-ban list of course because it's not january 1st yet so with that being said i don't want to take up too much of your time let's get in there and let's find out how well we can do with sword soul at today's locals all right guys so this is what the deck list is kind of looking like it's obviously not an in-depth profile but i just want to show you guys what we're playing here today a legit super old school deck at this point so i don't even know if we can keep up with today's metagame but we're gonna try our best i really wanted to bring something fun to locals and something that i just haven't played in so long i just got the urge to play this deck and uh yeah that's why i'm bringing it in but i'm playing a little tech here i don't have sp little knight this should be sp little knight but uh this is what we're playing because it's a non-effective monster so it actually synergizes pretty well this is also another tech that we're testing out today so again it's all a test we're gonna see how we do today i'm pretty confident i think i know the deck pretty well and at the end of the day if i'm able to set up boards i don't know if people are gonna be able to break them so let's try it out and see how we do so going into round one over here you're gonna see that i actually am able to set up full combo so i have the moye the long one the blackout but i don't play around nibiru now was i expecting people to be playing nibiru in the main deck no and better off i went desires and drew desires off desires so here you're gonna see my opponent is actually able to break my board and just go in for otk because i really have nothing to stop him desires off desires is not very fun so we just finished our round one and round one was against centurion centurion is a deck that uh you know what game one he had nibiru and having nibiru against i wasn't playing around nib i don't think people are playing nib in the main deck or i didn't think people are playing nib in the main deck but centurion is actually i think the one deck that does because i think it's 11 11 and they play Baylor as well so they can use 11 plus one to make 12s it just randomly synergizes with their deck so that's why i don't know i wasn't playing around nib game two i just didn't open well um that was rough that was a rough round so sword soul unfortunately by the way it seems i don't think he can keep up with today's format i think he had imperm in game two i had a moye and a blackout i think so i go moye effect and he just goes imperm and I'm, i literally can't do anything afterwards so i set the blackout but it wasn't enough so um that wasn't a great round one but we got still three more rounds the four round locals so we got three more rounds to go hopefully we can do better in the next round one card hands one one card oh my lord yo i cannot catch a break today oh my lord okay that's cool back row you're being no no no, 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 no. that's a drill that's a drill okay no. <laughs> that's fine that's fine i got hit with lava golem lightning storm game two a brown two. I don't even think my opponent. I mean, he was a good, cool guy. Nothing against him, but um, I don't even think he opened that well. But lightning storm, lava golem, lava golem just completely. I, I just had the standard Baron, Chishao board, and then goes lava golem. Cool, whatever. I have judgment set, imperm set, and call by the grave set. Goes lava golem. Dang. I was lightning storm on my back row. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to judge me here because I'm going to lose my back row anyways. And I'm just hoping the imperm is enough and the call by the grave. It wasn't enough. But you know what? Though? With that being said, though, we are X2, which is crazy because I think Sword Soul, even though it can go off, it's kind of like I said after round one, it's just too slow of a deck. It's not a deck that can really keep up with the pace of today's format. But it's really cool that I get to test it out. I get to have some fun. Obviously, being a local is fun, but dang, bro. First time back at locals in a while, and this is how I'm performing. It's pretty sad, I'm not gonna lie. However, however, we're not gonna leave just yet. It's still kind of early. We might play one more round and then get out of here. X2, you're not topping regardless, but I think it's still gonna be a fun time. Hopefully, we can at least pull out a single win. I retired this deck a while ago, and I, I think I understand why I retired it now. I was retired for a reason. But whatever, January 1st, 2024. Upstart Goblin comes back to three. And when Upstart Goblin is back to three, that's going to be a lot more consistent. On top of that, the comeback, guys. I'm telling you right now. The comeback. Spanko's comeback. January 1st, 2024. Be there. 
a few moments later we finally got a win we finally got a win i didn't even record our last round i was doing another feature match by the way if you guys want to see the feature matches they're all going to be on the spanko duels channel okay i'll link it in the description spanko duels all the feature matches go there but i'm gonna put i'm gonna put you guys up here okay we finally won we're playing against labyrinth and that deck apparently can't beat chi shao baron i think what did i have i had chi shao baron i think i had something set imprim i think that's what it was and i think that was good enough so we won that 2-0 we got a win that's all i cared for we're one and two right now so you know not the greatest record probably gonna head home there is one more round but you can't top at x2 anyways but i did get some cool trades so i'm gonna show you guys that in a second soon after all right so we're back from locals i wanted to show you guys the things that we picked up today and by far my favorite thing that we picked up is this elemental hero spark man super rare it's a speed duel promo that i think you get only if you attend one of the speed duel events i don't remember exactly which one i think it was like trials of the pharaoh or the gx edition for it but this is an extremely rare card very difficult to find and i'm really happy that i can finally add it to my collection so while it's not the most expensive card here it's definitely my favorite card that i picked up for the day right so that's the spark man and then i picked up an ultimate rare brandon fusion i had two i really wanted one more so i wanted to pick up that playset over there so the third brandon fusion over here then we ended up picking up some qcrs so we picked up a neos we picked up a jackalope a d barrier i needed this to finish my playset so that was really nice and then an exodia as well and we have two of the armor master now one of them is not sealed one of them is sealed i don't really mind the not sealed one is just going to go straight into edison and then this is just going to stay sealed i like keeping these sealed promos so there you go bunch of qcrs lots of good trades as you guys can see so far but these are some of my favorite because these are things that people would not expect to like trade for but i really like goat format edison format and a lot of these time wizard formats so i picked up sinister serpent dark balter of course for goat tribe infecting as well one of my favorite pickups of the day are these mass dragons now mass dragons for some reason are impossible to find they're not super expensive in this common rarity but they're just really hard to find and i've been looking for them everywhere there's a goat build that plays these there's some edison builds that play these that i wanted to build but i couldn't build just because i could not find this card finally found it and they all match they're all first edition they're not in the greatest condition but that's not what i'm here for i really just wanted to pick up the card so really excited about mass dragons funny enough pyramid turtle as well just for those recruiter decks this is really fun and then we have three upstart goblins so upstart goblin just came back to three on the brand new ban list and i don't mind picking up the extra gub starts just to play in any decks you know when i do the deck profiles for you guys just having extra upstarts is never a bad thing also this is pretty good in goat format as well so i like having the extras because some goat decks do play the upstart goblin right so upstart goblins and then lastly i just picked up some ots pack supers that i was just missing just in case i ever wanted to upgrade some of the decks that i play so for motorbike here if i ever wanted to play the super heavy samurai engine that's now a super rare and then big shout out to chair chair actually gave me these intacts in the soul supreme king he was like yo spanko you're the only dynamorphia player i know and he actually kind of just upgraded these for me so that was really nice of him so that's pretty much it for today's pickups just a bunch of really cool cards <laughs> again my favorite pickups have to be the master dragons and the spark man over here but uh the neos qcr brand infusion ultimate rare Th these are some good pickups i won't even lie like these are some pretty good pickups all right so that is it for today's vlog thank you guys all for watching of course it didn't really end off the way i had hoped sword soul is definitely a deck that is a little bit slower in today's format but you know it was still a great time i got to see a bunch of the friends got to do the chair first place deck profile which might already be on the channel for now if you guys want to see the full duels it'll be on the spanko duels channel which i'll link in the description below and i got a ton of cool trades today so that was really fun i think i still had a good time and i'm excited for 2024 guys i'm going full competitive mode in 2024 you guys are gonna see i'm gonna be getting tops left right and center so thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you and with that Thank you. Sign it out. Peace.